Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to some fall deep cleaning. So usually whenever the seasons change, I really like to dig in and get all of the um, nooks and crannies cleaned in my house and get my windows done and that kind of thing. So I started out in our living room with cleaning our back door and the windows. I was going to do the exterior of our windows, but my husband said that he's going to power wash the outside of the house and he can do the windows then. So that saves me that time. And I am using a Enviro cloth and a window cloth to wash the windows. So the Enviro cloth is wet with water. And so I take that over first to get rid of all the bacteria and dirt and grime. And then I take the window cloth over it after that to shine it all up. Stand your ground. I moved everything off of the carpet and the couches because as you can see over there um, on, in the corner I got a rental carpet cleaner and this was the first time I've ever used one that was a rental I have my mom has one my mother-in-law has one and I have some friends that have them so I've always borrowed them from other people but this time it was just more convenient for me to rent one and to be honest, I think that the ones that you can purchase, even the more least expensive ones that you can get on Amazon or from Lowe's or Walmart, I really think they work better than these rental ones. <laughs> um, I was not that impressed with this rental. So um, I can leave a re good recommendation of one that I've used a couple times in the description box that I really like. I think it's from Hoover. I have to double check um, that a friend of mine has, but this did the job, I guess, for now. As you're gonna see when I go over it, there's still some spots left behind on the carpet. And normally when I do the carpets, they come out really clean and clear. So I know that it was something with this machine, but it was a good brush up and it got things a little cleaner than they would have been if I didn't do it. for while I was doing the walls is I kind of washed the bottom half of the walls with an Enviro cloth 
really just getting rid of fingerprints and all the things that little kiddos bring along on the walls and then I kind of dusted the whole wall as you'll see here after a while. So as I was putting the bar stools back, I went ahead and wiped them down and oh my goodness, this video does not do them justice. You could see like as I was cleaning them that I was cleaning them. They were so, so dirty and so in need of wiping down. The last time I cleaned my couches like this, there were so many of you that commented and said that you clean your couches this way as well. So I have a microfiber enviro cloth and I'm just going over all of it and it's just amazing how well they clean upholstery like this. I My original plan was to use the rug cleaner because it had an attachment for it, but of course, since it was a rental, it didn't work. The attachment would not work for me and it wouldn't um, let any water out or clean anything correctly. So I went ahead and did it this way and it does just such a great job. And you're gonna see my husband come popping in here in just a second. I think he was heading out the door to go somewhere. Okay, so now I'm using my mop and I get a lot of questions about this mop. So this is the dry dusting part and if you had hardwood floors, this would be a great alternative to a Swiffer, but um, I like to use it to dust my walls. So that is what I'm doing. So like I said, I kind of spot cleaned the bottom parts where it really needed to be like washed and then I went through and dusted it and got all of the cobwebs around the edges and it is kind of amazing sometimes how much dust I can get off of my walls just by taking this over it. Do you guys deep clean in the fall? If you are gonna deep clean, what is on your list? What's something that you need to deep clean really badly right now? Let me know in the comments. Across the sky
I will leave a link below for my video where I did a bunch of fall decorating. I'm actually getting ready to go get some pumpkins um, the day that I'm doing this voiceover and some things for my front porch. I'm hoping to find some mums. Uh, I just love, love decorating for fall. I've mentioned this before, but it's definitely my favorite season and my favorite time of year. Um, just the smells and the colors and everything. I love it all so much. I did not go the extra step to do this this day, but my rug here in the dining room is a ruggable rug, so I can actually pull this up and throw it in the washer, and um, I got that on purpose um, for in our dining room here. If you guys are new around here, we do rent this house, but we are um, talking about purchasing it. So if and when um, we do, we will be replacing all the flooring in the entire house. But right now, since it's a rental, we can't really do that. So this was a good way for me to cover up the floor under our table and not worry about staining up the carpet since it's a washable rug. So the next clip you're going to see is the next day and I'm washing these windows because I forgot to do it whenever I was working on the dining room the day before and then you're going to see me move into our entryway area and to be honest that area is one that I like to wipe down as often as possible. It gets so many fingerprints and I just feel like this is probably the area that a lot of bacteria comes in our home just because it's our entryway and I know that something like, I forget, I think it's 80% of the bacteria on your floors comes within the first four feet of your doorway, your front door, which means that you should be mopping that front area or wherever your entry area is, whether it's your garage, whatever area it is, you should be mopping it pretty often if you're wanting to eliminate bringing a lot of bacteria into your home. Believe in only you Yesterday is gone Forget about tomorrow And the ceilings you see right through If you guys watch my vlog channel, which is linked below by the way, um, you know that I'm getting ready to film a video um, redoing our laundry room. I'm so excited about doing this. It's like something that's been on my mind ever since we've moved here, since we are allowed to paint and kind of do a few things um, with the house. I'm so excited and that video will be going up here on my home channel. So keep an eye out for it.
into the kitchen to get the cupboards wiped down and the counters wiped off. Since I do a lot of cooking for my cooking channel, I tell you what, I get splatters and this has to be done a lot more often than what I would like it to be done. <laughs> um, I just feel like I am wiping them down pretty often. Um, more so from myself and not not from the kids. Um, I've gotten questions about that before if it's hard to keep up with white cabinets with little ones and not necessarily. I think I make them messier than they do just because I do a lot of cooking. Um, but I went ahead and wiped them down with an Enviro cloth and um, if you noticed a little bit ago there was a big bouquet of flowers sitting on the bar and a good friend of mine sent them to me and just blessed me so much that she took time out of her day to send me flowers and they were beautiful fall flowers so I was so thankful for that if you guys are new around here I would love it if you subscribed to my channel this is my home channel where I do a lot of home decorating and cleaning and motivation and I hope that this video inspired you. I'll see you guys in the next one.